Yo, what's up, guys? This is Mr. NND Gamers here with, with GTA Gamer. Yeah, we're here with you for a new video. Wait a minute, just a minute. So sadly, our last franchise, as you know, if we were going up against the Seahawks, it didn't save. I saved it, and for some reason, the next day I looked up on it, and it didn't show up. I think it was a glitch or something, but sadly, we'll have to do a new franchise. So all sorry, those, sorry guys, all those. Game Madden videos I posted. Sadly, I didn't delete them, but now they're kind of considered worthless. Like we're not in that kind of franchise anymore. But we're not gonna do a game today. We're just gonna like sign free agents, look at depth charts, look at our depth chart, look who we should put at their positions, like maybe even see what our concessions and stuff should be, that kind of thing. And if and if you see something coming through here while we're like up there in the couch playing this and commentating, that's my dog Cooper. Sorry about that. He loves his bones. Yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy this and gladly. Sure, it might be kind of bad with flight, but it's not backwards thanks to this guy right here. I feel pro. <laughs> yeah. So, so, I hope you enjoy. Oh, man, my knee. So, you know. So yeah, as you can tell from our last Madden franchise, we're making a new one and we're going up against Carson Palmer in Arizona Cardinals this week. And it says, obviously, I'm the new owner. That's my real name, actually. I know it's kind of weird. So my, the first thing we're going to do is go on media question. We're going to see what the question is. So it looks like it says you headed up a group of investors to potentially buy a franchise. And now you have one. Why did you want to be an owner so bad? The first re one is, truthfully, it's the fans. They were so great to me during my time as a player that I just wanted to stay involved in the game and give back to them. Yeah, I like and that. And then the second one, my history being what it is. I think I can be unique. I know football, and I think it's a big reason why this team will be a winner under me. The NFL is a success-driven league. I succeed as a player, and when I retired, I realized I wanted a new challenge. And this was it. I don't really like three. That's kind of iffy. I think it's either one or two, but I think I like fans. Sure, history is important, but fans. I, I kind of like one, too. Let's go with yeah. one. We're going with one, and it looks like 10% per winning season, 15% per losing season. So we didn't do a terrible job. It's not like we didn't do it right. Yeah. So, next. Wow. Trade block. Brett Kiesel. The Steelers are willing to get rid of him. Should we make an offer? I don't know. Well, first, let's look at our right end position. Oh, sorry about that. This is new. Let's look at our right end position and look at it. Let's see if we need to work in that side of the defensive line. Well, there's obviously Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, my guy. So there's right end C.J. Wilson. I don't need Brett Kiesel, but I'll make an offer. And but it's not gonna be a huge offer, like a. It's gonna be small. Yes, like a sec. Not no first, second, or third round pick. Cause he's not really that big. Sure, well, he's good, look, but he's not very good. Well, first let's look back before we do anything. Let's look at his like skills. So it looks like he's 87 overall. Then again, he's not very good from his physical report, it looks like. But intercepting, 91. And, and for a right end, wow. And his size grade is 93. And his DUR grade is Durability. Durability is grade is 83. So. so he's a pretty good size for a right end. And production grade is 74, which is kind of low. Well, I think he looks okay to me. Yeah, he's not terrible. He's okay. Well, Actually, I'll, I'll cut that. He's good. Okay. That's too good. I'm going to offer... I would do a... Fourth and seventh round pick in the last one. If he doesn't accept that, I really don't care. I just want to make an offer for fun. Because if I did get him, that would be cool in the rush defense. Then again, I might not find... Well, it looks like they declined it. Maybe if we look at transactions right now, we'll show if Brett Kiesel already went. And he does to the Colts. What did the Colts give him? Running back Vic Ballard and a 
2014 seventh round pick. No offense, guys, but I think that's kind of stupid. Why would they get rid of Brett Kiesel for that Vic Ballard? It's not even good. And uh, seventh round pick. Do you think it's worth that, Sean? Uh, I don't think so. Me neither. That and that wants to make me laugh so hard. And also make sure to check out mine and Dalton M's channel. Also known as Dietrich and GTA Gamer. And also, just check to see every single one of Mr. Gamer's videos. Well, I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just trying to be supportive. And please subscribe to my channel. I like to hear your comments. I don't like haters. No one likes a hater. Yeah, so please like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want. Yeah, sorry if it kind of got dark. So, looks like right now we're going to look at the depth chart, mainly because we're going to see our weaknesses and strengths. And then we're going to look at free agency to kind of upgrade those positions, see kind of what we should do. So first that quarterback, Aaron Rodgers and B.J. Coleman. Graham Harrell. Now, you know what's funny, guys? I kind of found out, like, Graham Harrell, you know how inexperienced he's only been in the league for three years? Guess what I found out in real life? He's not in the NFL anymore. He retired when he was only in the league for three years. Well, that ain't too bad, actually. Yeah, but I've seen a lot of quarterbacks like kind of like Graham that stayed in for like ten years. <coughs> and also, we're going to probably record videos tomorrow, so watch out for those. Yeah. So we're probably going to have to upgrade the third string. Oh, now. wait. What is this? Cooper wants to get in it? Oh, I sorry. I have to do this. Hey, guys. Aw. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, no, we wait, just wanted he's... you to see Cooper, but he might come over. He oh, might. Wait. Hold on. I'm going to try to show him. Um, There he is. There's the sugar. That's where the money went, for sure. All right, let's get back. Sorry you couldn't get a very good better view. I, I tried, but yeah. So, oh. obviously, as you can tell, we got to upgrade our third string position. At running back, rookie out of Alabama, Eddie Lacy. I really like him. Don't get me wrong. He's really good. <laughs> Cooper. And I want to keep him at starter. Oh, of course you do. John Kung. Very good. He started off his career in Pittsburgh, and when he came to Green Bay, he made a whole new difference. That's in real life, actually, too. Wide receivers, Randall Cobb, Jordy Nelson, and James Jones. Well, in my last franchise, I didn't record it. I mainly passed more to Jordy than I did Randall. So I know this, you may not like this, but I'm going to put Jordy at first and Randall at second. Ooh. Yeah, but I mainly passed to it more. It's just something that I want to do. And also, guys, um, this uh, this weekend it's also gonna be my birthday, and I'm getting Madden 25, so I'll, I'll upload some videos of my franchise as well. He's pro he's a Dallas Cowboys fan, so he'll probably do something like this unless he does fantasy draft. What do you think of doing, Sean? Well, I don't really like doing fantasy draft because I like the players I have now, and also I'm gonna be an owner just like Nick, so I'm a huge. Dallas Cowboy, and I might upload some GTA soon. Jermichael Finley, Andrew Quarles. I don't look. I already know our offensive line is good. I know that. At LABJ Raji. That's really good. Right end CJ Wilson. We couldn't get Brett Kiesel. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel disappointed, but hey. Oh, that's Cooper right there. Say hi, Cooper. Oh, man. Well, you can see his tail. <laughs> Spencer tackle Ryan Pickett. Twelve years. Oh wait, he's he's in the picture. He's in the picture. Ah, sorry about that, guys. Here, I'll bend it for you guys. So, oh, never mind. Oh wait, he's coming. He's going all around. Sorry. Okay. Oh, you Ryan saw Pickett. his face. Well, oh, oh, wait, 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 maybe, maybe. Hi, it's Cooper. Aw, Cooper, you want to be? Oh in. wait, he's coming around. You want to be? Wait, in my wait, 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 what? What are you doing? Okay, left hole linebacker Nick Perry, middle linebacker AJ Hawkins, Ooh, Brad Jones, <laughs> Cooper, Sean. As you can tell from that, that's a big drop, eighty-seven to seventy-four. Yes, it is. So now we're going to right linebacker Clay Matthews. No upgrading there needed. 
Cornerbacks, Tremont Williams, Casey Abram, and Sam Shields. If I could have a really good guy at fourth string, like say an 80 overall, this could be perfect. I really want to upgrade full safety position, but I think at strong safety, MD Jennings can get it done. So we looked at some weaknesses and strengths we have. Some of the main ones were free safety, kind of middle linebacker. I want to kind of have a fourth string wide receiver I can trust. So let's look at free agency. Who's out there for the taking? First off, quarterbacks, Thaddeus Lewis. I told you guys how we kind of had to upgrade the third string quarterback rank. So I think I'm going to sign Is he Thaddeus. worth 980 grand? No, 980k, that's what I call it. He's had three years of experience, so he's not bad. All right. The other one there is, he's one year younger, Jared Johnson. Ooh, but he's only one year. He doesn't have that much. Thaddeus Lewis has a West Coast team, which we really play a lot. So he could be a good fit. He has a great physical score and durability. Intelligence is kind of poor, though. He's best in size and throw power. I think we're taking Thad Lewis here. And, yeah, we're not, we're, we're maybe not doing all videos, man. We might do, like, Call of Duty or online on GTA. Yeah, and I forgot to mention on my channel, I created new, two new playlists. One of them is Call of Duty World at War. If you're a Call of Duty fan, too. I made a new playlist for that, and I also made an NBA 2K13. Sure, the 14th has come out, and the 15th is being made. Sure, it's kind of old, but I still like playing it, and hope you guys enjoy it. And also, if you didn't like Call of Duty Ghosts, because I heard that some people rip them off, please put if you liked it or didn't like it, because we would like to hear if you liked it or not. At running back. Whoa, look at these great running backs on the board, Sean. Wow, Michael Turner. Ooh. Willis <laughs> McGahee. Oh, I, I but I can see why back. they're free agents. They're so old. I mean, Michael Turner, nine years. Willis McGahee, ten. Peyton Hill's five. Why would he be a free agent if he's not even old? I don't know. Sorry, guys. It's just Cooper's trying to be famous. <laughs> you know, he's just going around the camera. Oh, look at this. Ryan Grant. He's wow. a free agent, Sean. Wow. How about, how about that? Yeah, he's 80 overall. Sure, he's better than Eddie Lacy, but I think I'm going to sign him. He used to be a Packer in real life. I think I want to bring him back. But, oh, bring him back. And if you but $1.5 million, $1 million. You think he's worth that? Well, it ain't much. It's kind of. Uh, I think I'll bring Ryan Grant in. He won't be the starter, but he'll be a great backup. So if Eddie Lacy ever did like get hurt... He could be a good backup. And I hope you guys will like it that the video is not backwards. Thanks to me. I learned it from um, Dietrich. Dietrich, also known as Dalton M. You can find him on YouTube. And we uh, we really like how it's not backwards. And, well, especially he loves it. Yeah. So I, I, I just wanted to come and help him. And also I'm uploading two Club Penguin videos right now. Well, they're uploading right now. It takes a little while, but, yeah, just telling you. Okay, so let's just talk about Madden mainly now. Let's just talk about Madden. So there's fullback Vontae Leach, but I believe in John Cunn more than anything. Wide receiver, Randy Moss. Ooh, Brandon Lloyd, Braylon Edwards, Steve Bretson. I'm looking at these three guys here because you know how I said I wanted to upgrade that fourth wide receiver slot to get more passing out of Aaron Rodgers. Oh, Cooper's. Oh, I thought Cooper would come over. So, who do you guys want me to take? Braylon Edwards? Brandon Lloyd. Braylon oh. Lloyd's had 10 years. He's very experienced. How long is Edwards? Eight. Oh, so, eight years. So, um, two year difference. Oh, oh sorry. Cooper Stills in the video. <laughs> Oh, there he is. There's the shit. Ah, he's kidding me. Sorry about that, guys. Cooper <laughs> says he's super me. sorry. Yeah. Knock it off. Okay, so there's, they had the same scene. And their style oh. is kind of different. <laughs> Say hi, Cooper. But I think because of young reasons, 
I'm taking Braylon Edwards. <laughs> Look at Cooper. Isn't he cute? I'm probably, since it's preseason and backups will play, <laughs> I'm going to take Steve Cooper. Fredson, too. Knock it off. You see it. Poop. He ain't get in more, so we, he can get to the camera. Hi, my name is Cooper. Okay. So, so uh, okay. like I said, we got, Br <laughs> if you didn't hear, we got Braylon. Cooper, what the heck? Cooper, come here. Cooper. Aww. Oh, well. So, as I said, if you didn't hear, we got Braylon Edwards. But because it's preseason and backups will play, I'm going to take Steve Bretson, too, before anyone else does. Sorry, that's just Cooper eating his bone. If he annoys us anymore, I'll probably just put him in the kennel with his bones. Oh, and I almost forgot. I'm going to upload a really funny video of my dog, Max. Because every time I say Ruby, he'll go, Ow! Yeah, I've seen it happen before. It's really funny. Yeah, so I'm going to upload that, and maybe it'll boost me up a bit, because Max, my dog Max, he's a cuddle bug. He really loves to cuddle. He'll cuddle with anyone, even strangers. But, you know, he's a troublemaker. He likes to get into the garbage. But, nah, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. Okay, so we don't need to upgrade tight end position. I don't really think there's anyone at offensive line we need. Brandon Moore's the best guy, but I already I trust TJ Lang. At left end, there's Ray Edwards. Not really interested. Defensive tackle. Look at this, Sean. Richard Soimer. Sure, there's Casey Hampton and Suam Pahu. I really can't pronounce that. But I think I'm going to take Richard Soimer. Put him at backup. He could be a machine in there, you know? And also, we might we might upload another video tonight, but it's not mostly to ha happen, but we'll upload more tomorrow. Yeah, because my laptop kind of has to charge more. Yeah, well, it's doing okay for now. Oh, right in, John Abram. Look at that, Sean. John. Hold on, I'm going to make this full screen. I forgot. There we go. John Abram. Look at that, Sean. Whoa. He has 13 years? Yeah. Whoa. I'm, I have my money on him. I don't think I'm going to get him, though. Well, keep him in mind. Well, if I don't take him now, he's probably going to be taken next, you know? Well, gotta go with your gut instincts. I just don't think I want to take a guy who's so old. And I played this kind of last on my last franchise, and he retired the next year. I don't want a guy that's only going to play for one year on my franchise. Eh, true. So, I'm pro sadly, I'm probably going to pass. Left the linebacker, Sergio Kendall. No linebacker, Takeo Spikes. Wow. Bart Scott. Sure, they're old, but I know them. They're mean. They're mean. big. Vicious. Mean, vicious machines. They both had the same scene, attacking 3-4, and... I need to upgrade the middle linebacker position. But, then again, even if they're old, they're asking a lot of money, around $2 million. But, I know what these guys can do. Tequila Spikes is 15 years, Bart Scott's 11. But, Tequila, if I... Sure, I said how John Abrams is only going to play one year. I don't really want him. That's because we really didn't need to kind of upgrade at right end. I'm going to take a chance on Takeo. Are you sure? Yep, I'm sure. Okay, but sometimes if you make the wrong thing, they'll come back and get you. I'm going to take a chance on him. And also we might record some plays when we're, because we're in You theater. mean a game. Well, we might, me and Dalton might upload plays when we're like, when I'm doing Cedar Arts, he might come and he'll record plays that we do. So, yeah. So, I wanted a cornerback. A good one. But I didn't want a cornerback who would replace Tremont Williams, Casey Hayward, or Ooh, they're only for one year. Sam Shields. Hmm. Um. I think a guy that I want is someone like Rashane Mathis. Okay, go for him, man. 
Yeah, sorry for taking so long in free agency. I just want to really see who's there. Now, full safety. Let's see who's the first one there. Kerry Rods. Only seven years. And his college was Louisville, so he, has, Louisville. he went to a good college. I bet he spent all this time in Kentucky getting some fried chicken. Uh, yeah. Shot. Attacking 3-4 <laughs> run support. And you know Whoa. how free safeties need to stop the run. Well, I have my money on him. You should go for him. Whoa, but then again, sure he's so good, but 2.62 Oh, Oh, I think you'll run out of money. Even though it does say $5 million, but you signed so many players. Well, I did when I made this salary cap off, so. Uh -huh. Well, if you feel you yeah. like him. We upgraded full safety with carry rods, a huge steal. And look at strong safety, so it's for fun. And they're showing us Babinix. Hey, I hope should, I pronounced that we, right. Should we stop at 20? Okay, we're, we're about to stop soon. The video, we think, has been going a little bit too long. But before we go, we're going to do two more things. One, we're going to look at, do the depth chart, make the changes with the free agents we got. And then we're going to look at the Arizona Cardinals depth chart. And then I think we'll be done for the video. And also, me and Nick might do some tanky videos. Um, maybe not today, but maybe tomorrow. Um, because... Um, you know Tanky, I, I, I uploaded a video of it. It's where you are in a tank and you try to destroy any tanks. It's kind of like GTA, but like tanks. So we might upload some of those tomorrow. So, like I said in free agency, we got Thaddeus Lewis. And I'm going to put him at Graham Harrell. So there's four games in preseason. I'm planning to use BJ Coleman and Thaddeus Lewis in two of those each for them in those four games, just to see who does the better job. And oh, I got an idea, Sean. Hmm. I'm gonna see whoever gets the most passing yards, B.J. Coleman or Thaddeus Lewis. Whoever gets the most passing yards in the two games they play, win the second string position in the regular season. Hmm. Nice. So yeah, whoever gets the most passing yards in their two games, gets to be our second stringer. Hope you guys like that. Ryan Grant, like I said before, I'm not putting him at starter. I'm giving Eddie Lacy a chance as a rookie. I'm putting him at backup. I think we should stop at 25. Let's just do this and then we'll okay. Wide receivers, we got Brayden Edwards. He's the fourth stringer. Then we'll put Steve Bretson at, what was it, F fifth. Then I cannot wait to get him at 25. Then we'll put rookie Charles Johnson place with Jeremy Ross. <laughs> Funny now he's back Cooper. And I'm also going to turn 13 this, this uh, Saturday and I'm going to celebrate. I might up, I might record a video of me and dad um, going cosmic bowling but maybe, maybe not. It all depends. I might not be able to upload any videos this weekend because I'm going up to Okaboji but I might op upload a video next time, tomorrow. I might if I have the time. Oh, oh, and I also forgot. I might upload some Minecraft because Dalton's going to get me uh, an account for Minecraft. So me and him are going to do some Minecraft together. So, yeah, we don't need to look at tight end and the offensive line and the defensive line. Well, at least that defense tackle because we didn't do any free agency in that. Defensive tackle. There's, I think he's at the way down the list. Richard Soimer. I got an idea. <laughs> I'll put him at second string. Make him the backup in preseason. The linebacker. Dekeo Spikes, like I said, a big steal. He'll start second stringer. And I think it's going to be cool how Brad Jones will play third. We didn't do any upgrading cornerback. It wasn't really needed. Then there's cornerback... Rashane Mathis, putting them at four. We're going as fast as, our, as we can. We at least want to make this a 25-minute video. We don't want to waste too long because it takes a long time to upload. Yeah. Kerry Rods, our starting full safety. The biggest thing per guy I think I got in that. 20 more seconds. 20 more? Yeah. So last, the last thing we're going to do is look at the... We're not... The last thing we're going to do is look at the Cardinals 
depth chart and see who we're going up against. Carson Palmer and Ryan Lindley. Running back Rashard Mendenhall and Ryan Williams. <laughs> Full back Cooper. Jim Dre and <laughs> wide receivers Larry Fitzgerald, Andrew Roberts, Ryan Schwope. They got a good wide receiver core. Yeah. Michael oh, Floyd. Cooper. Yeah, they dog. Tight end Jeff King and yeah. Rob no. Hausler. I don't like looking at the offensive line much. Gloss Campbell. Daryl Dockett. Dan Williams. <laughs> Cooper. Daryl Williams and Sam Atko. Cornerback Patrick Peterson. And those kind of guys. Okay, let's like put it at the Cardinals game. Like, oh, I know. So, yeah, that's all we mainly wanted to show you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe, like, view, and mainly hope you enjoy this. And our first, next, my next Madden video will be up against the Cardinals. We'll see what BJ Coleman can do with us at preseason. See you guys later. Peace. Stay cool.